Michael, are you remembering something else? I'm sorry, Michael. I never meant for you to get shot. I sent the gunman. It's my fault that you got shot. I don't know. Tell me what you remembered and I can tell you if it was real or not. Hey. Come in. Hey. You okay? Yeah, good. Hey, came by to see how you're doing. Well, your timing's perfect. Michael's remembered something. You know, it's it's no big deal what I'm remembering. You were pretty concerned about it a minute ago. Well, it's just it's weird not being able to tell the difference between what happened and what didn't. That's all. Okay, so what did you remember? Uh, just being in an exam room, you know, and looking up to see a bunch of people who I didn't even know who they were. You know, must have been, uh, doctors or nurses or something. That's it? Yeah, I, bet, I better get going. I can this call song. Bill. I'll tell him that you can't make it, you know, it's fine. No, no, he's depending on me today because, uh, one of the guys had to take the day off, so, you know, I'm supposed to be learning about responsibilities, right? Yep, that's true, you are. Right. See you later then. Whatever he's remembering, clearly he doesn't want me to know. He'll tell you when he's ready. What the hell's going on? Who's he trying to protect? Whatever Michael's remembering, I know that he doesn't want to hurt you. Oh, I'm so sick of hearing I'm that. So, I, I'm so sick of saying it. But it's true, you've made it this far into your pregnancy. Nobody wants to mess things up, Carly. Do you know what he's remembering? Uh, it, his memories. I mean, he has to deal with his memories in his own way. I want to help him. Okay, He's my son. Okay, then you son. have to give him some space. <sighs> just what, just like you did to me. Remember way back when, when everybody was always pushing me and you never did? It's so different when it's your kids, Jason. I know that. Does this have something to do with the day you and Sam showed up in Jax's office? Because Michael couldn't get out of there fast enough and you guys were hiding something from me. Just leave it alone. No. It's stressful for me hey, to wonder. Stop. Stop thinking about it. Will you, will you just please focus on having a healthy baby girl and just let me take care of everything You're else? really not going to tell no, me. I'm you're not, not going to tell me. I'm not going to tell you. No. When Michael was little, you told me everything. Okay. And now you're and not going to tell you trust me? And now you trusted me to take care of him back then. You have to trust me to take care of him now. It's all going to work out. Okay. Oh. Oh, see? Oh, your goddaughter agrees with me. She's gonna be a soccer player too. Feel, come here. Oh, oh. that might have been a goal. Right now. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> huh. Can I need some help from Uncle Sonny on a project for school? Oh. All right, whatever you need. Since I'm doing a paper on the judicial branch of our government, I would like to interview a real criminal. You have been arrested on numerous occasions, correct? Um. Well, you know, why don't, if it helps your paper, just say that I have never been convicted of anything. Because you were innocent? Or did you just have a really smart lawyer? I'm a really smart lawyer, honey. Ask me. I'll be happy to help you with your research. Yes, but you lost your job. That damages your credibility. Have you ever used the Fifth Amendment to avoid self-incrimination? Hey, you know where my kitchen is. You're not gonna answer, are you? I have this, like, cookies. They're just delicious. They're in there They're from this great bakery that I go to from Michael Morgan whenever they come in. Why don't you go get yourself some milk? There you go. Thanks. <sighs> you know, maybe I'll talk to Jason. Morgan says he's been arrested like a million times and he always gets out of it. He'd be perfect. We have a leak in our organization. What do you know about it? Hi, Carly. Do you mind if I come in? Thanks. If you're here to complain about either of my two kids, I just really can't no, handle that no, right I now. I'd come in peace. Then we just have a nice little dance together. Look, I was thinking, since we both have children with Sonny as the father, I was thinking maybe we could work together and create a united front. Warrants were on order went off like clockwork, which would imply that somebody 
in my organization tip the cops off. Okay, well, I appreciate you giving me the opportunity to defend myself, but it wasn't me. Well, why should we be leaving? Because, Sonny, I've got no reason to undercut your organization. i got nothing to gain. But you would if it was to help your, your father. Okay, you know what? You and I, we're never going to get along. But Jason and I have proven to be a pretty good team. I've done the best work I know how to do for your organization. Beyond that, I'm not a snitch. I wouldn't go to the cops, and I don't know who did. I just don't believe you, Johnny. Well... If United Front means we do everything your way, it's not going to happen. No, uh, now, don't go there. That's not while I'm here. Molly has asked some very pointed questions about Sonny's criminal professional life, and I'm sure that Morgan has asked you similar questions, and I thought maybe we could get together and discuss how to deal with it, since they're both old enough to know what's going on now. What did Molly ask? She wanted to know how he beat the system so many times, and if he ever pled the fifth. Did you explain to Molly how many times you got Sonny out of jail? And how your best friend is being paid mega bucks to the same thing right I now? I get it. I do. But I'm here trying to figure out how we best support them and guide them and protect them. Then tell Molly the same thing you told everybody else when you took Sonny on as a client. Everyone deserves a fair trial and a vigorous defense. It's a matter of principle. You said it yourself. I think that's reasonable, and I think it would placate Molly. But Christina's situation is a bit more complex. I'm really worried that Sonny wants to be fully involved in her life. I think it's good for Christina to be involved in Sonny's life. I do. Sonny's not perfect, but, but he, you know, he's got a lot of security right now, and, and things are calm. Everything seems to be fine. But he's impulsive. And you and I both know he spoils the children, and he does it because he's trying to resolve his own childhood issues through them. You're right. But he's their father. And a criminal. Really? <laughs> the kids need to be with their dad. They don't, they don't care that Sonny's a criminal. They don't care about laws and ethics. They love their father, and they need to be with him. And I know he loves them. A lot. I just, I don't understand how he can love them on one hand and not know how he's affecting them by the things that he does okay. and the way that he lives his life. Yeah. If, if, if there was some way you and I could be a united front and it would work, I'd be right there with you, but it, it's not. It doesn't work. Sonny's their dad, whether we like it or not, and they love him and they need to be with him. You know, the thing is, I just, I just don't like you, and I don't trust you. Well, that's fine, but you don't have any proof that I've been disloyal, because I haven't been. You don't have any specific information that I fed to the cops, because I would never do that. I'm not a tyrant like your father. I'm not going to do something unless I have absolute proof. But if you did do this, and you want to you wanna live a little while longer, you should just run right now. Right now? Yeah. Anything yeah. else? No. Didn't think so. You got something to say? Go you ahead. No, Johnny say. didn't do it, Sonny. Maybe, but we'll just see well, if he listen, runs. Listen, you want to hate Johnny? Hate him? Don't uh, let him get in the way. We need to find out who's working against us right now. It's a little early for a fire, isn't it? <laughs> oh yeah, I was just burning up a bad check. You know, with identity theft, you can't be too careful. Yeah. What's up? Your dad's not here, but I'm always happy to see him. Actually, I came to talk to you. Okay, sure. It's about uh, when you visited me at the Institute. I'm starting to remember more about what you said. I know that I would do anything I could to help you, so... What do you remember? Did you visit me a lot? Yeah, I did. Quite often. Yeah, because you're in a lot of memories. A lot of times you're sitting, sitting by my bedside, telling me you're sorry. I was sorry. I am sorry for what happened to you. It should never happen to anyone. It was terrible. And then this one memory that keeps coming back, um, it's like you're trying to explain what happened to me. And um, you said that it was your fault that I got shot. 